it feels as good as it looks. What's up guys, I'm really excited to do a review on my new favorite thing, which is this glass floor mat. So let me give you a little history about me, chairs, and the different kind of floors and floor mats that I've had. So my first home office was in a bedroom that had carpet and I just had your regular typical office chair. I actually bought it at Walmart and it had the regular old uh, plastic wheels and that was on carpet, which works for a little bit, but if you've ever done that before, you know it, it kind of indents your carpet. It's a pain to roll around. It's just not the best situation. So I bought this bamboo rolled up mat and I liked it. I used it for years and it eventually chipped away and it had some other issues, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but I had that. Then I moved my office down into the basement where I had just installed vinyl plank flooring. I made a video about that, put it right here if you ever want to check it out. But then I had that chair on the vinyl plank flooring. And over time on the seams of the vinyl plank, those plastic wheels started to rough it up a bit. So I did some research and I actually found these wheels right here, which I highly recommend. If you're on a hard floor like tile, hardwood, or luxury vinyl plank flooring, these wheels are amazing. You don't even really need a mat and you can roll around nice and smoothly. It is awesome. So that worked for a little while for me and I had already damaged some of the floor with those plastic wheels and it would annoy me because these wheels would get caught in this little groove. I'll show a picture of that. So I got this vinyl floor mat just to help protect the floor and to roll around on this. So then I recently moved and now I'm back in the basement, but on carpet. So I tried to use that vinyl floor mat on this carpet and it just created more issues than it solved. So then for about a month and a half, I just rolled around on the carpet with these wheels, which works. It's definitely better than the traditional plastic wheels but it definitely wasn't ideal. And I think over enough time it would probably indent the carpet, maybe even cause a little bit of damage. So I needed to get another floor mat. So I had experience with the bamboo one, which my biggest gripe with that was two things. One is where the pieces of bamboo meet, give it enough time and that eventually chipped away and started to not look very good. The other thing is I even have some damage on my desk I can show you. It would slowly shimmy or slide over time. I had that same experience with that vinyl floor mat. It wouldn't stay in place and maybe it's the way I like scoot up on my desk or move or something, but it eventually always wanted to tilt like this to where I'd have to like get off my chair, pull this out, straighten it, and it was a real annoyance. And it just so happened before I moved here, we were house shopping and we were going around looking at different homes and I noticed this guy had an office with carpet flooring like I do, but he had glass for his floor mat. And I was blown away. I was like, I didn't even know that existed. And I assumed that's gotta be really expensive. But I remembered that, so of course I did what most people do. I just went to Amazon and Googled glass floor mat. And to my shock, it was much more affordable than I would have thought. I would have thought it was gonna be hundreds of dollars, especially for a large one. Now don't get me wrong, this is still an expensive floor mat relative to some other options out there. However, at least for me, I definitely got the value of paying a little bit more for this floor mat. It is supreme. It is just superior to any other option that I've had. And it's those little things that make you feel so good. Just being able to glide on this the way it is, it's, it's really, really nice. So if you work from home and you spend a lot of time like I do, literally at least a fourth of my life is sitting in this chair here, it was well worth paying the money for it. You'll see there are options for this size where you'll run into the hundreds of dollars, but I'll put a link in the description to this exact one. It was only $129 and this is the big one. It's a 60 inches by 48 inches. So you didn't have to get that one. I think their most cost effective one is 50 bucks, but I think now is a good time. I'm going to go over the cons because I would hate for you to go out and buy this and then just realize you don't like it. So let me explain some of the things that you might not be thinking about and what to be aware of so you don't just go out and buy it and then end up not liking it. All right, so the first thing is, which may seem pretty obvious, is that it's hard, which carpet is, it's comfy, it's cozy, it feels good um, on your bare feet, it's warm, and you're gonna get rid of that and put something down that's cold and hard, and if 
being mobile isn't that important to you, you might end up getting this and realize you don't like it. You kind of liked the soft floor. Now these edges, they are rounded, which is nice. And, and I haven't actually done this yet, but I can imagine, especially if it's dark or something, eventually I'm probably going to be barefoot and I'm going to stub my toe on this. I'm not going to be too happy about it. The other thing is, it's not like a regular floor mat. You know, since I just moved, I realized my old floor mat was easy. You just roll it up, you can throw it in a truck or something. This guy, not only is it glass, so it's fragile, but it's huge and heavy and would be very difficult to move. I doubt you're gonna be able to throw this into a car. It's almost like moving a TV, I suppose, with you know the dimensions and the fact that it's fragile, which if you've ever moved a TV, you'll know it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world to move. Another con is, especially on carpet, is if you roll off the edge, um, to come back on, it's actually not bad, I think because of the wheels that I have, but it's not the easiest thing. And I could just see if you end up going with the smaller one, I could see that happening a lot. And maybe it would be an issue to where you're sitting here and then you go to get off and it just rolls off every time. And it's like, man, this thing is an annoyance more than it is a benefit. And basically what I'm saying there is if you do it and you have the room, I would definitely go with the largest one because like I said, it's, just so nice. All right, so another thing is it's glass, and I haven't really experienced this too much, but I remember when we were table shopping, my wife definitely didn't want glass because it gets really dirty and you have to clean it a lot. So I imagine if you have kids that are gonna be in your office a lot and touching it, you're gonna have a lot of finger marks that might drive you crazy, and then you have to clean a lot. You know, I have been barefoot on this quite a bit, and if the light hits it right, I can see some marks. For the most part, I believe because the light's coming straight down for me, I don't see them, but when I do get it at an angle, I can see that. And I just know for some people, they might not like it. All right, and then the last con, which is arguably the biggest, is that it's expensive. You know, you don't have to pay four or $500 for it, but for 130 bucks, I'm sure you could buy more than one floor mat that'll do most of the things this does, if not more. All right, so now I wanna go over some pros. And one of the biggest ones that maybe you currently have a mat and you experience is this is rigid and it doesn't shift. That's actually one of my favorite things about this. You know, you can see my desk here pretty much makes a square and since it's rigid, it can't actually turn. So I no longer have to every, you know, couple days get up out of my chair and move the mat around to make it work. That's one of my favorite parts about this. My next favorite thing is I actually think it looks really slick. Like I said, when I was house shopping, I saw it in that guy's office and the first thing I thought was yeah that's nice but it's probably way overpriced like that's got to be super expensive so you know that's just taste and everyone has a different opinion but personally I think this looks like a luxury really nice product another thing even though it is glass you know it's tempered glass and it's it's really durable I don't think like my bamboo one it's going to be getting scratched up and look old and weathered over time I would imagine this, this should last Hopefully the rest of my life, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't, unless I actually break the glass, which I know from having an aquarium, glass is actually pretty strong. And this is a good amount of thickness, but you don't want it too thick because what's kind of nice and everybody's carpet is going to be a little bit different is when you're actually putting weight on this, the carpet is almost flush. I mean, it's not flush. You could definitely stub your toe, but it's not that much of a jump. and. I really feel like it's durable and gonna protect the carpet better than most floor mats out there. Because it's so rigid, it's really gonna disperse the weight evenly. And if I do move or something, I'm not gonna have to worry about the carpet being permanently damaged or having you know, permanent indentations from having a chair sit in the same spot over years. All right, another pro is these corners are rounded, obviously, as you can see, but even the edge is rounded. So there's no sharp corners and I think it does two things. One is it does it feels kind of good on your foot. It's not going to hurt it in terms of being sharp, but when you do roll off, it's really easy to just roll back on. And I think it's because of that beveled edge. So I just wanted to let people know this option is out there and that it actually is a lot more affordable than at least I assumed. And you know, we all got to work. If you work from home, why not make it an enjoyable experience? And I can tell you without a doubt, if you get this combination of these wheels with this glass floor mat, it's slick. It glides. It's literally as smooth as glass. All right, so I hope you got some value out of this. If you were considering getting a floor mat, hopefully you learned something. Maybe this even helped you make a decision. The best way to thank me is like, comment, or subscribe. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.